know, when I think about the impact of addiction on the community, it's, it's so far reaching. Uh, one of the number one symptoms of addiction is denial, and not just for somebody who's afflicted, um, but for whole communities, for families, and because there's such a stigma attached to it. Um, and I think that, um, you know, in essence, Fresh Start's able to go out to the community and say, you know what, it's okay, we know, and there's something that we can do about it. This is a tough area to work in, and especially those frontline workers. I mean, I, I have the easy job sitting up as the judge. Our caseworkers that work with us in the drug court, and those caseworkers that are out here and that work at a place like Fresh Start, they are the, they are the heroes. You know, one of the questions we had today was talking about who's your hero? My heroes are those frontline caseworkers uh, that work in this area, the, the officers on the street, the caseworkers that are here, the ones that we have in our drug court. The, the ones who deal on the daily basis with the addicts in recovery. Very challenging work. And so those are my heroes. That's what I'm grateful for. And I'm grateful that we have uh, opportunities to get together as a sector, you know, to talk about successes. So often when we're doing our work, we're, we, we get those negatives on a, on a daily basis and we think, my, this is, this is tough and thankless work. And when we have that opportunity to get together in a, in a gathering like this, and I, I thank you for it, Stacey, is, is that's that opportunity to look and say, you know, we've had some successes, and we are making progress, and we are, we are doing some good work, and we are having results. And I know there's a few uh, of the Fresh Start uh, residents are here, and, and uh, I see, and I see some of our people from drug court that are, that are here that, you know, that started out uh, arrested by one of uh, Chief Hansen's uh, officers and brought into our program that are doing very well now and that's what we need to be to be grateful for in, in our community it's not an easy thing to address too many people believe that addictions or um, mental illnesses are are really easily addressed all you got to do is sit somebody down and talk some sense into them you just got to sit them down and say don't do this and wave your finger at them well the reality is, is, that, is that too many people don't understand, and it's going to get back to Fresh Start here, how complicated the issue is. It's so hugely complex. And I listened to, we had a, two psychiatrists come and talk to us last week about the, uh, the psychology of addictions, about the science behind addictions. And it's, it's so ironic today that if somebody walks down the street with a physical disability, you get compassion from the community. Yet, if somebody walks down the street with a mental illness or they're self-medicating, they're uh, an addict, which probably, based on what the science says, is 80% genetic, then they're the subject of scorn and ridicule and judgment. And what's sad is that the physical disability or the emotional mental disability came from the same place. Nobody, they didn't ask for it in most of the cases. But what they need is understanding and especially compassion. And, and you know, affluence, as Guy Huntingford said, has its own challenges in this city. But that's why it's gratifying for, for places like Fresh Start because you bring understanding, you bring compassion to the table, and you work on the gratitude piece. And, you know, gratitude, I guess, is, is appreciating what you've got before you lose it. Because we all have gratitude when we look back and say, geez, I should have been more appreciative of what, that, what I had. For me, again, I think about the human spirit which never ceases to amaze me, and I think that every single one of us here has an opportunity to have a conversation, no matter how difficult it is, with the people that, that are younger. I was thinking about my son. We were at the Hyundai hockey camp thing on the, it was, they had some NHL players there and stuff, and he was thrilled to be there. And after that, we were at the SO and we're pumping fuel. And there was a couple of fellas that were, um, you know, digging through the dumpster and that. And uh, they had the backpacks and stuff. And they appeared to be homeless. And, um, you know, uh, so Seth says, you know, Dad, is, are those guys homeless? And um, I said, well, they probably, um, you know. And I went to pump gas. And I'm pumping gas. Next thing you know, he's getting out of the truck. He's taking our lunch over, and he's giving it to these guys. And this is, um, you know, without any prompting, without any anything. And um, 
later in the day, I said to him, I said, what was the best part of your day? Well, it was the NHL star, this, that, whatever. He says, no, man, giving those guys that food. And then I asked him, what did they say? And they said, thanks for the smile, kid. Not thanks for the food, but thanks for seeing me as another human being. And um, I think it's important that we have those conversations and um, because those kids are listening. Thank you.